tau overflows layers of memory what is the there is a difference between layers of memory and types of memory adi shankar in nirvan shatkam explains that the first sutra mano buddh ahankar chittani naham i am neither mind nor buddhi nor a storehouse of the memory nor ego sense the egocentric identity a storehouse of the memory from that comes layers of memory memories are stored at different layers and the types of memory is different there are two types of memory one is factual memory the other is psychological there is nothing like a spiritual memory because your being has no your spirit your soul your atma has no past no future it is like this you have a computer and or a smartphone it got some bugs or all these things so when you sell your old trade your old equipment laptop or phone the company sets it to the original setting original manufacturer's setting when an individual dies his system entire system that you can call as a memory is reset to the original so it becomes new like that is why it has no past no future it is always in the present it has no memories and no no memories no imaginations no dreams it is pure existence uncontaminated by the dead past that is no more or by the future that is not yet but there are two kinds of memories factual memory and psychological memory and the difference between the two has to be understood because it is of great significance for all of us factual memory keeps you only a watcher you are not involved in it for example you remember that yesterday somebody insulted you you simply remember that somebody insulted you it is a fact but if you still are angry and you want to take a revenge you are still waiting for some opportunity to insult that person this becomes part of psychological memory i will deal about this discuss about this in subsequent sessions right at the moment the layers of energy there are according to science of inner inner science or science of yoga there are eight layers of memory the first layer of the memory is known as elemental memory this memory comes out of the interaction between the elements of the basic elements that constitute the human body the earth the water the fire the ether the air these are the earth water fire air and ether these are the five elements of which which constitute every human body irrespective of your religion religious belief understanding whether you accept this or not but your body is composed of that whether as a muslim as a christian you agree with it or not 
but this is how the human body is composed of. These represents as fundamental elements or the qualities or software that decide how these elements will interact. There is a mechanism behind this. How these elements, the earth, water, fire and ether will interact with one another and will remain in total harmony. In cooking, when you make a specific spice blend, there are certain basic spices, coriander, turmeric, chili powder, then there are aromatic spices, nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, mace, cardamom, black pepper, and so on. All these are put, they are elements of a spice gravy. There are some that balances one another. When you are mixing them in a particular order, they blend together, they lose their ident individual identity and work in harmony with one another. You are making a cup of tea. It needed needs water, it needs sweetener, it needs tea leaf, it needs milk, it needs fire. After the tea is made, it is harmonized action of five elements. You do not see the milk separate, water separate or tea leaf separate. Everything has blended. So this is the elemental memory that comes out of the interaction of five elements or softwares that decide how these elements will interact with one another in harmony. The next layer of memory <coughs> is of material substance. It is contained in atomic memory. Although in modern parlance, this word atomic comes from Greek language because of John Dalton. Really, this word has its origin in Sanskrit language where it refers to Atma, soul. And then in Greek language, it is known as atomic. Atomic memory relates to how subatomic particles, atoms are in turn molecules of various physical substances are made and how they behave together and constitute what can be called as inanimate memory. This memory governs the in animate aspect of your life. There are two aspects, animate and inanimate. So this governs the inanimate aspect of life. Next layer is of animate memory or evolutionary memory. Animals are inanimate, human beings are animate. They are there is a process of evolution from growth and that is why it is known as animate memory or evolutionary memory. This explains how life has evolved from the basic the, to the present state. This shapes your hands eyes, nose, evolved to give you the present human form. Earlier, the man was walking on four feet, then started walking on two feet, so on and so forth. Next is genetic memory. It is passed on from generation to generation by your parents. This determines the color of your skin, shape of your nose, 
such things like you look at the the physical structure of people of different um, the genetic code like Chinese, Indians, white, the Americans, the British, the Germans. This is color of your skin, shape of your nose and such things. However, an awakened one through his awareness can change the code of such memory that happens at times. Next layer is karmic memory. It is the accumulation of impressions of the past lives. This plays so many this plays in so many ways beyond your understanding and imagination. The next layers, three layers, are the impressions related to your mind or mental body. Largest of these is unconscious memory, then below that is subconscious memory, subconscious layer of the memory, and the most superficial, superfluous layer is the top one. This you recollect and articulate on a day-to-day -day basis. This is known as conscious memory. So these three layers are the impressions that you gather in your mind or the mental body. The unconscious is the largest, Subcon below that is subconscious and most superficial layer is the top one. This you recollect and articulate on a day-to-day -day basis. All these layers play upon themselves according to the situation that you encounter on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. On a moment-to-moment -moment basis, if you look at it, if a situation comes, there is a kind of argument between you and your spouse. The type of talks the words, messages emerge, they are part of unconscious and subconscious. Most of the time, whatever is spoken at that time does not relate to that present situation. Anytime, it is like a circumstance and situation comes like a pebble that has been thrown into the silent lake and then waves starts arising. You are dressed very elegantly in an expensive outfit, right, driving a very expensive model of automobile and somebody gives you a bad ride or touches your vehicle, you look at it. All that elegance, that outer elegance has vanished. What comes out is the real nature. So subconscious memory, unconscious memory, that determines you and then based on the other karmic memory, the subatomic and the other layers. So this is, the these three layers are the impressions that are related to your mind, how your mind is, is created, what software your mind has, and what is its... So each, just as each computer has a particular software to use, and then you install your own software based on your need. So mind has a software installed into it, the operating system. This operating system works on three layers, unconscious, subconscious and conscious. Like your desktop, then the other layers. So this is how there are eight layers of memory. So if and I will explain further the types of memory and more in detail, therein I will explain about this. Again.